Welcome to the Albion TV War Report, your source of live battle coverage featuring the top guilds and alliances of Albion online. Today is the 8th of September, 2021. I am your host, The Chosen One, and I am joined today by Robin Hood RS on the play-by-play -play and Vogel on the camera. We are currently on a 15-minute delay, so if you have reports of live action, please contact us in-game. You can see our names there on the screen below. I'm on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna type the one I'm on in chat just so you guys can get a, a guess of what I was dealing with. Yeah. All right. A little bit of small cell content here in Frostbeak Vista. It looks like Thomas and friends are steamrolling through. Who are they? Is it Overlords? I think it is. I guess it is. I can just read the names. Like um, coming in a little bit late into the action. Very split indeed. The tanks for the overlords way out in front. The DPS not connecting. Very nice engagement. The permafrost return, though, onto the boys of Thomas and Friends. Not going to be enough, though. Doesn't drag that camel in. Nice play here. The reset does come down. The melee's causing chaos in the back end here onto Thomas and Friends. But they're going to be able to survive. There's not a lot of combo DPS coming out from overlords for the time being. I see that bridal tree trying to stack up. A lot over of on coming out. soon he's over on the front line against the overlords here and he just had a really nice engage right into the their grove keeper front line righty let's stick on Gotti. He, he's playing super aggressive with the realm breaker here so it's not too bad of a pov it looks like overlords backing up onto the choke point their tanks though getting left out to dry big permafrost connecting the reset down very nicely done here by thomas and friends and the push continues Camline connecting though they need to be careful armor pierced into the oh no I don't oh know what it's called. nice engagement uh, coming back the other way got hit by the meteor it. on top that was really good by overlords here when it looks like they're kind of outmanned but three down for monso inc or mazno inc yeah, look how low Overlords are in terms of healing. Their frontline all half HP. I, I don't know if they're, they've lost every healer. I'm not sure what's going on. They are playing through this choke point here. Thomas and friends looking for a turn. Going to be some big clumps on the back end. No oh, nice stoppage with the inertia ring from Overlords. The Grove Keeper lands as well into the back end. RPOV trying to cause chaos in the back. Trying to apply the pressure onto DPS. He does get shut down by the Judicator Helmet and Overlords. Looks like they're turning it into their favor at the moment, putting pressure into the back end, forcing a kite to the west. The members getting caught off guard. Is that tank going to survive? He is getting pummeled. The ax just spinning to win on top of him. He doesn't get a heal and he goes down. This could be flipping here. Overlords keeping the pressure on. Their, their melees just need to keep hitting the back end here. I don't think these guys are going to be able to sustain these poles. And look at that big Kamlan into the Energy Shaper. Permafrost connecting. And it's going to be all she wrote here for the boys of Thomas and Friends. Back to the station as Overlords oh, no, I... team roll in. Uh, cool. Actually, action on Selfreya. Um, fighting nine. So it's Blue Army versus nine. Oh my god. We just missed a massive engagement here from Blue Army as that pile of corpses to the west just got deleted nine looking for a return engagement blue army making sure they're not getting flanked to the north but there is a big clump just tucked away north of blue army zerg i believe there's is there another group here i, I think it's no par you as well on the battlefield i think they're uh, allied with blue army obviously no alliance have been working together massive no, camland nice, nice knock up, up. Come on, boys. Where is it? The they got to follow through. They're at half health, guys. You got to finish it up. Just, and they didn't. I think the there was a Grail Seeker that shut it down there from the nine There's lines. Back, uh, yeah, the, this group from the, the backside over here on the northeast was pushing into the back of their DPS, which really kind of forced peace out. It's not going to stop the push, though. Another group here. An Anaxia? Is that? I never heard of those guys before new guild showing up but they're getting involved it's going to be chaos it seems here at the door as it looks like nine alliance are just dropping left right and center all over our screens there are clumps and dumps happening and blue army making quick work of the nine alliance here in the devil of ash 
What are they here? Oh, yes, the, the castle, castle yeah. in the next zone. Yeah. Next zone over was where they came from. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, quite the mess here. Lots of corpses. I have to give Nine some credit before. They did a good job with the split there, using their numbers to their advantage, really pulling BA apart so they didn't get a really good first engage. But now they're split up against the door here, and these guys, uh, I, I don't even, oh, this is nope. Yeah, this even is nine yeah, we're not, is not nine like, is dead. Nine are dead. Like, dude. like nine is all dead. I just saw all these like the ends, and I was like, wait, this is somebody else. This is a mess. Wow, just clapped and dumped on the door real hard. That, yeah, I, I don't know where I, all I'm, those guys I, I'm must have ran sad that because we... there was so many of them. I don't know what happened. They couldn't have all died that fast. Yeah, they did. <sighs> uh, some did get away, but a lot of the nine did get absolutely devastated there by blue army but they were also fighting no part you as well so you know it happens i'm i'm kind of sad that we didn't get the engagement as i was coming in onto south freya because that was disgusting i think they deleted like a good 20 people in a single engagement it was devastating nicely done we'll, we'll keep an eye out but i don't think the nine alliance will be coming back as it's three minutes until a point tick over here for this Season points of the castle. No loot today, so there's no other reason to come back here. And I shall go check on the other boys to make sure we're not missing any action on Wimple Snatch. Uh, I'm over on a uh, different cloth right now, and everything is pretty quiet. They have a request that we watch from this guy's perspective. Ooh. When we do, I'm going to put it in chat right now. Taxo Wu. Okay. Oops, he wants ooh, to be on AOTV. He's a fan. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Is that ooh, ooh? Moo too? Ooh, ooh. Well, Go. right off the rip, let's, uh, since he wants to be on air, I you shall give see him, him a tip. Yeah. Um, as you're playing a Grovekeeper tank, please, please bring more than three potions. Oh. Much, much love. There you go, okay. top, top tip I'll, of the day. Yeah. If, if you're a tank, you're definitely going to be wanting more than three potions. Some of these fights last up to 30 minutes, and you're constantly popping potions on engagements to save yourself because you're at the front line. You're the first damage-dealing player that's that's soaking up that DPS. You're going to be soaking up that DPS, so when you're popping those resist spots, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone, dude. And here we go. They're zoning into San Mount Ascent. The territory has been launched on in this zone by the SMA boys. Are they going to be claiming back their territory? Are they going to be able to push the Six Alliance out? We'll have to wait and see. They're heading towards the castle for some weird reason. The Six Alliance are at the terror. You know that big blob to the north, boys? Mm -hmm. Over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to go up north. But I think they're trying to see what this is to their west they don't want to get split nines into their west and to their north oh no the six is to the north that's all six six nine sma all in the same zone six 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 nine nine are the ones all the to way the west, at yeah. the west yeah yep so this is a three-way at least the castle doors down but that blob from territory is just about to hit the back end of SMA here. They're going to get sandwiched in this castle. I don't know why they're doing this. The damnation just hit their back end. Why are they pushing into the castle here? Their back end just getting they're looping. I think they're they're looping so they can oh. get these guys all through the choke here. This isn't a, necessarily a bad call, but it puts them up against this door, and if these guys push in from both sides and overwhelm them, they could get crushed. Like, if they're going to bomb over the wall, they have to do that and then push back out real quick. They get a good bomb over the wall. They just need and to be careful. And it looks like they're going to come out now. It looks like they are coming out. Look, they, it, you got Paxo. Where is his follow-up? Where's the boys? Are they that slow? Come on. What hit him? A Groves? Keeper? No, they're getting engaged on by the six boys that are already in the castle. And now there's another this group coming in calls. through oh, into no. Courtyard. This is what I was talking about. Why did they place themselves inside the castle? Yeah, they they have don't to push own out. it. They have to push out. They have to push out to the northeast here. Go to this eastern exit. Get out and uh, push through that small group that's outside the door. That's it. And they have Dear. to go as a team. Taksu had a really good engagement out the door, but there was zero follow-up. There's very few people out. Get your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Any They've committed. Now. They've committed. They, they think this is the way. 
they, they don't realize the how they they don't see as far back as you do they can't see where their opponent is they need to get a good scout out there find out where, where if they're surrounded or not which they are i mean it's just common sense like they zoned in they saw the bubbles surrounding on the map like it's oh dear I, i'm surprised the six alliance haven't actually fully engaged it's kind of like yesterday where we saw six alliance they they had such good positioning they just didn't oh, they're, they're fighting it. with nine they're fighting with nine out here that's the issue nine has come in over the top over on the western side there's diddy dancing and it's uh sma is this is nine and six okay six rotated in got pushed out by nine nine is now at the door here and six is coming over the top and nine is holding the door this oh. looks like they're working together robin sma just got annihilated here on the eastern side and just as what we were saying that finally they get the inner door down the inner doors down they need to make a play onto that group in chess room they need to do it now i thought the six alliance and the nine alliance weren't working together anymore i yes that's the impression that I had, and we had seen them fighting together. The idea was that the only way they would fight together is if they were defending their territories. Ah, uh, so, oh yeah, and so, well, uh, the territory was under attack. Here. The yes. territory is under attack. I can see them coming together, and yeah, it looks like Nine is holding the gate, keeping these SMA guys into a precarious position where their back could be clapped at any moment, and it looks like up top they are losing people over the wall. Yeah, and I mean, look at this permafrost engagement onto the That's front lines. SMA are just getting demolished here. That's finally, it. they make the core and they go out into courtyard, finally into the open. Jeez. That's yeah, he only lost eight. half your Zerg. <laughs> and then they got the memo. It's eight. <laughs> and here comes nine in for the back end, getting their own rotation. And they wanted some of this fun as well. And uh, actually very well held. And they hit six. So this is a good play. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Yes, SMA. Finally, finally, you use the carpets to your advantage. You rotate around, hit the back end of nine. They just decimated nine. Just, nine's gone. They're off the map. They're dead. Now. Yeah. They engaged with six, wasted their cooldowns. Their defenses were used up front when six engaged. And then SMA was able to come in and just absolutely remove them from this map. Indeed. And remember, Uwu, you're on the big screen. Do not get combat looting my man because it will get pulled by the officers that's it just keep on going <laughs> keep on going remember sma still have to fight six alliance they're still holding castle position sma just going to get a regroup here oh that that was some frustrating positioning like i mm -hmm. I, I get so angry sometimes dude well i, I understand I like you're that. you're an armchair quarterback and your arm is getting uh, itchy you want to throw the ball here i get it yeah oh here we go a flank coming in m3r causing the sound this is gonna be rough in. yeah is sma going to get flanked from the north side we'll have to wait and see i think the other group is pretty far away here so six is going to have a moment here and sma has some time to regroup but they're getting split against this wall really good early engage by six i thought they were going to take longer because of the cooldowns on their mounts some of them are still mounted um but it at least split uh sma sma is now regrouping and i and now i would be worried if i was six this is a situation where you're hoping the rest of your alliance is coming because now they're regrouped they have the wall behind them. They are only going to be able to be hit from two sides. And this group has shown some really, really tight ZVZ skills recently. Yeah, nice use of the carpet to carry on kiting here. Uwu's going to get engaged on from the western side. So it's going to be a small little bomb squad as the eastern side start wrapping around once again. Here comes the battle mounts that we saw yesterday from the Six Alliance. Just so many of them. This is their home location and returning will be instant here for the six alliance something that sma do not have and it looks like they're going into full kite mode to the north side a lot of defenses getting dropped on the back end big damnation pierce onto our pov it looks like six are looking for an engagement into the back end this sma look a little bit lost in where they want to go Big permafrost connecting. Here comes the return though. SMA hitting the front lines of six. Not as impactful as they would like. And they just got rotated on all the way north. They got wrapped around by another group. It looks like the Moroccans are coming in over the top. 
and six are just steamrolling now through the sma alliance constantly just different rotations permafrost connecting there comes the clumps and the dumps it's not looking great for sma no it's uh they are completely overwhelmed at this point six did a great job of coming from multiple directions and spreading them out exactly what i said they needed to do there and uh said that it happened overwhelmed by numbers again six is here sma has to come in and they can't play it like it's red tree they're they're facing somebody who's a little bit more prepared yep and i'm gonna hop onto drick as i believe that's who bogle's on it looks like they're now engaging onto the nine alliance drick's just threw his hand of justice in there as sma are pretty broken they have no front lines left it's going to be three loot bags for the remaining players getting left behind is nine gonna get wiped up in this too I'm not sure. I think six are just backing off. I think Drix uh, just did a little bit of a misplay. Didn't really see the tags, but you know. Because if, if they are if they were working together in this zone, that engagement in the castle where six came down, engaged on nine, and nine had to drop its uh, defensives, was brutal. That's a bad call. <laughs> that was a devastating engagement, dude. That was some nasty, nasty wraparound work, and. The, the use of the carpets was fantastic. Let's like, you know, give some props on that. That was a really good use of carpets for the speed from the engage. It was, they hit them while they still didn't have defensives from that engagement with six. Beautiful, beautifully done by the SMA Alliance. Indeed, I'm just letting the boys know that we we're uh, watching them. Oh, I found Srindu. Yeah, I know. Drix has found him as well. <laughs> Both of them hit him with a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, he's just going to let him live. Bless him. But yeah, I, I, I mean, just like that, I, th I think it's all over. That's eight minutes past the timer here. Not much action elsewhere. I don't think Tomashi and the boys got a fight today. No, they're already offline. Six are just clearing up the loot bags here in San Mao San. Do we have any of our shows today, Chosen? No. Oh, no, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. I, I had to think about that, Robin. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Do I? Do I? No, we should have uh, two shows tomorrow, though. We will be back again tomorrow with the War Report. And hopefully we'll have a little bit more of this 6-9 um, SMA action. Uh, I really like what's going on with these smaller groups. Uh, getting some content. Oh. Um, Delfria? Do we have content over there? Or I, I see some skulls, but it just might be nope. And some cleanup over there if we want to keep that on in the background while we just wrap up. Um, yeah, uh, tomorrow we will have hopefully an interview. And we'll be talking about the update that's uh, been discussed on the dev talk, actually, in the interview. And uh, how this will change the, the Black Zone and, and how things sh should be changing in the upcoming next two seasons. It should be a, a fun call. Um Whiskey guy, one of the guys on the round table, really wanted to to share his thoughts, and I thought it'd be a, a great, you know, different kind of uh, interview. And we'll have that on Thursday, and then Friday we're gonna be back. We'll probably talk about the dev talk again because I, I don't know if you guys know there's a new dev talk. I watched it multiple times. Yeah, what do you think? Amazing. I mean, I think the most interesting part for me was the new biome reworks uh they mm. teased a couple of them in there um the, it showed the new forest maps and the new Different. snow map as well um graphically it looked amazing you know um, it, it kind of looked like a whole new game like the does forest it feel like one... when we got fingers does it feel like we just got fingers N no it's it's way above that dude it's, it's way come I... on dude bigger than fingers uh, now that that it's been sneak peeked i i can say that i played it and the first time i zoned into one of the new forest biomes it felt like i was playing a brand new game it didn't feel like albion it and didn't look like albion no it hype was, there no, no it was no. amazing dude <laughs> like props to the art team 
uh, back at HQ, I mean, wow. And I can't wait for like the the players to to see it in all its glory. Because oh my god. <laughs> No, we, we have some really good things coming around the corner. I'm really excited. It's going to be a, a fun um, period of time as the summer was very quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't think the next two months are going to be quiet as far as news. I just get a feeling that it's going to be a lot over a short period of time. And it's going to be a lot of fun to do these kinds of news shows. And Friday is going to be another one of those jam-packed days where we might not even get it all done in an hour. And um then uh, in the next week, I guess I can give a preview for the next week. I'm hoping to get a hold of a bunch of members of BA. Uh, we used to do like season wrap ups, me and the boys, you know, we would get together and I would invite a bunch of different GMs to talk about seasons. And two members who repeatedly showed up on that were uh, Sucks and King Mojo. And uh, we're going to try to do something similar or something different where we're going to do something, you know, I, I want these guys to have their time to say goodbye. And we're hoping to have one of those uh, interviews up next week. So do tune in for that. Um, this weekend is the finals, the, the last week, right? Yep. Uh, the, all, everything all the big boys, all the big boy 5v5s and 20 versus 20 um, this weekend. Um, the final push for points. There's a, still a battle ongoing between second and third place between Blue Army Freeman and Reject Sanity. Um, not sure if Reject Sanity is going to be able to pull through, but they're still clinging on. Well, ha I think it all depends what happens with the GVGs and if they're able to buy enough Merc teams mm. and win. Because it's still possible. It's I mean, they're only, what, 40, 45k-ish difference somewhere around there? It's... It's this thing, Willow. Is it, is it worth it? Uh, like, what do you have to put in to, to make this last push well, for second well, place? Reject Sanity is breaking up. Their, their, yeah, it's their, it's their right. final season. They said to their members that they're getting second place. They've been oh. going for it. They've been actively taking castles and everything uncontested to the eastern side of the map for quite a while, pretty much nearly all season. And, I mean... Just to get blocked at the end, uh, you know, it, it's not great. And we're, but they're we're going up against seeing... a, a team that has a million and a half points combined. Yes. And they're scoring points at a ridiculous rate. And they've now turned that point generation to second place. So all those points that scored one million are now being focused on the group that has half a million. And they, like you said, they're about... Uh, uh, 47 away from each other and that has been increasing a lot every day it went i be believe it was three days ago so it's twenty thousand a day mm -hmm. that's like so the main goal for blue army was to hit a million points and then a lot of the people that put were putting in effort may trading um flipping castles etc um all switched over to baf when a million points hit and now all the efforts like getting applied to BAF. And mm -hmm. we're also now seeing the territory flip that we see at the end of every season. Yeah, to you know, for somebody all... to get all those extra points. Yeah. So if, if Bogle wants to quickly show it on the map, uh, Glacierfall Valley, um, and then the surrounding areas up towards the north end, like Everwinter Incline. Like a lot of these areas are starting to get launched on by BA, and a lot of these territories hold like between a thousand, two thousand season points each. Um, some maybe a little bit more, and all all that just funnels back into BA and then split as well to to, you know, <laughs> to apply more pressure to Reject Sanity. I think it's gonna be really hard for Reject Sanity to get second place. I mean, I, I wish them the best, but. The odds are against them, and it's it is. how much do, like they plan to reform Reject Party, at least. Like I know at least one guild's coming out of this. When they fold, it's not like the players are going away. They've already got their plans for next season. Um, I, I wonder if they they still go under the Poe umbrella. If that's if the they're... question that I'm. Tr yeah, that's that's the that's the big question that was in that interview that I had there. It was, um, does that happen? I was talking to Popa about that, and it seems, you know, I, I, I'm not going to say anything. Listen to the interview. Make your own decisions on that. 
interesting times ahead for sure. But that's going to be it from the War Report for us today. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time. In, in the meantime, though, you can check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Albion TV, where you can find all the 5v5, 20 versus 20 Crystal League coverage, along with the war reports and Invasion Day battles. We got the Hellgate showcases along with the feedback loops. We've got the daily shows and interviews. So if you're looking to listen to our interviews, maybe in a MP3 format on the way to work, on the way home from work, on the way to school, who knows? And do. Where can they find that show, in? Are you talking about soundcloud.com forward slash Albion TV, Robin? I am indeed. <laughs> and what Are do they do about to find any it? other location? What, what do they do to find it? Yeah. You go, to, I, I, you when, go there. <laughs> yeah, but what do you do when you go there, dude? Well, if you're there, if you go to soundcloud.com forward slash Albion TV, you can listen to a bunch of podcasts. But you can actually go to any place you listen to podcasts, Robin, any of them. And simply type in Albion TV into the search bar and over 100 interviews featuring some of the most interesting and charismatic individuals in all of Albion online will pop up in front of you, including some members of the Sandbox Interactive Development team. So if you want to hear about how the game was made, the histories, the politics, or just want to hear your guild leader have something to say, go over there and check him out. Easiest place, soundcloud.com forward slash Albion TV. But if you... uh. You want to get it a little less organized. You can search for it on any place, really. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, it's been a glorious war report. A little bit of a low in the action, but hey, coming towards the end of the season. Hopefully tomorrow picks up. But until then, have a glorious evening. Adios. Have a good night. Stay classy, Albion. <laughs>